Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and at last, it's here. You guys have asked for it, and, well, it's more than just asked. You guys absolutely begged me to do this series, and I actually had this in plan for a little while, but uh, here it is. It's the career mode, and I've decided to go with the team QPR. Now, that was my biggest issue, or not issue, but decision, decision I had to make throughout it all was what team do I go for? Do I decide that... You know, I want to go with a really uh, like a top four, top six sort of team and tend to do really well or go with a middle of the table team and just, you know, expect to finish mid table and kind of push into that top six. Or do I go for, you know, on the slightly bottom half of the table and uh, try and do my best. So that's what I ended up going for. I ended up going for QPR. But uh, just before I go into this entire series, I would like to just say a few names out there. There's a great guy called MGH out there who is doing a career mode series. He's decided to do his arsenal. Now, if you're interested in that, then feel free to check his channel out down below. He is really good at career mode. And also a good friend of mine, GCI Messi. And he is just an awesome dude. And he's decided to do it with Liverpool. Originally, I was going to do this with Liverpool. But uh, when I saw him do it, I was like, he is just he's really good. And I decided... You're more than welcome to go and do Liverpool, and I thought I'd try and do, be a little bit more original, just try and go with a team that, you know, you wouldn't usually expect, so that team happened to be QPR, and here we go. Let's get stuck into it, let's get involved into this career mode, and I want to have you guys making an absolute riot down in the comments about what players I should get, and um, what teams, like, how I should play, just really get involved, because I will be listening to the comments a lot. But uh, I decided to go for a moderate leaderboard, uh, moderate board leniency, sorry. And uh, I decided here, let's get the European First Cup draw sorted. And if you look at it there for a Champions League, or as they call it, the Champions Cup, it just didn't look right at all. Um, on the second redraw, though, that was much more like it with the likes of Chelsea, Barcelona, uh, Manchester United, all there. But uh, I'm going with world class. That's my difficulty. I hope you guys are cool with that. Um, it's just that I don't want to have too hard of a difficulty to the point where I'm not enjoying the game But I also don't want it to be too easy to the point where it's just win after win after win And it's just really not that entertaining. So welcome to me. My name is Callum Freezy on this um, Just as a little disclaimer my last name isn't actually Freezy um, Before you guys comment saying that but a nice shirt and tie should do the job I like to turn up to the match days looking neat and tidy looking fresh and uh, looking like I'm ready to go for another tactical masterpiece. So the board wants me to finish mid-table. And I really hope I can do that. I really would like to push for a top 8, top 6 sort of region. That would be my ultimate goal. And they'd like me to reach the semi-final in the Cups. Which in all honesty is probably a pretty tricky uh, cup depending. You know, if I get into the FA Cup, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be pretty tricky. Tr sorry, tricky. To reach that semi-final stage first thing I do as any manager should when he gets a new team is sort out the tactics of the team the players I want to be playing on the first team pitch but I decide to go for a 4-4-2 wide formation I feel as though that's pretty good I've got the likes of my man Wright Phillips I've also got Hoylet there who can play those right mid and left mid positions and uh, at, up front we have the likes of Cisse Tarapt as a center attacking mid Tarapt's got five star weak foot and five star skills so there's no way I could leave him out of this squad. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty solid squad. They made some good transfers in the window. Um, you got the likes of Park there as well. Um, Zamora and Johnson on the bench. I'm not really too sure. I've got a few strikers on the bench. I reckon I'm going to have to loan them out or, uh, you know, even possibly sell them. Because uh, strikers are really, as soon as I grab myself a new team, I always want to go and just reorganize attacking because attacking is where I tend to do best. But they're Junior Hoylet and uh, Graniero, the Real Madrid transfer this season. Um, he's looking pretty solid. Very good all-round stats, I'd say. He's not a fantastic player by any means, but he just looks to be an all-round right, all solid player and uh, definitely someone who I'm going to keep an eye on throughout this uh, career mode to see just how he develops more than anything. But uh, that's the team I've gone with. I have Farlin up front, and you might be wondering, why have you done that, Caleb? And the only reason is because this next bit you'll understand. The transfers, I do decide to go and buy myself another striker because that's the that's the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to partner someone up with Cissé. Cissé's got the strength, the pace, and the finishing, and there's just no way I could leave him out of the squad, and I just wanted a really solid player to go with him. But if you guys have seen my previous video, my very first career mode video, where I literally just made one video where I went as Liverpool, and it was more of a tester than anything, but uh, I went straight for this one player. He goes by the name Darren Mattox. He plays for the Whitecaps FC, the MLS side, and oh my days, what an animal this guy is. And you guys will see him. My only concern is that uh, he is only, I believe, when you first pick him up, he is a 60... 
7 or 69 rated player and that's a little bit worrying but I did keep in mind he is only 21 years old so that means the expectation of him improving is really high I really do hope to see him improve a lot yeah he's rated 67 and I'm really hoping he just comes into the game and just does a lot better if I start playing him um, I might yeah, I think I might even start starting him instead of having the likes of Zamora and uh, Johnson even though that is a little bit of a dodgy call um, he should uh, on the board said that I should probably offer 1.1 million but decided you know my transfer budget isn't that high I've only got 8 million to spend so I'd go for 900,000 and uh, a pretty old striker who doesn't look like he's gonna go too far so uh, that's that come back next episode to see if I will pick him up or not but I really like it guys if you guys would leave a like and a comment on this video just let me know are you excited for this career mode or not and if this gets what like 2,000 likes I'll more than happy upload more and more and more every single day so we could end up having four or five videos today of career mode I hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you did like I said leave a like and I'll catch you guys all later Bye bye